All right, to give you a rundown of what kind of things you're going to need, you're going to need a solid wrench set to take down um, the bolts that are holding into the exhaust tip, a hacksaw, a wire brush, gloves, some sort of measuring tape, and uh, this exhaust system repair stuff is what you're going to need to, and then you're actually going to need two of them to be able to have enough webbing to put in there. Then the pipe that you're going to make, it's going to be a two-inch pipe, and to hide it, you're going to need a high temperature engine enamel, which will probably burn off anyhow in the future. Okay, so this is the bike with a standard hole saw mod, and we'll be taking a step further today. I don't know if you can see in there. There's a whole lot of nothing. see in there that there's burrs around the edge here from where I had cut out before the original baffle and there's a pipe in there you can see and we want to make sure we put a pipe that's not that far in so when I'm measuring this out that's why those burrs are important Now this pipe, as you'll see, is a, an adapter that you can go over it, like advanced auto parts, something like that. Just a standard exhaust pipe. Um, and what I had done is I had flanged the edges off on the inside so it slides down and actually slides into this piece here. And I had welded this. Now, it's not necessarily that you have to do that or it's not even necessary that you need this bigger piece here. I did it because I had the resources and I wanted to weld something. But, uh, yeah. So, to get the measurements of what this is, I'm gonna have a four, four inch piece there. Yeah, this is two and five eighths, so it's gonna be two and a half, something like that, that's down spacer. And then we'll say a two inch pipe here. Just to reiterate, there's that little pipe in there. And I'm going to slide this onto that. And then I'm going to back off of it. Okay? So that way there's some room back there to make that not work. And I should find my line right there. So I wrote, marked my line at the very edge of this pipe. And what I'm going to do is take it back a quarter inch from there. So when I put everything together, this pipe's going to stick out, this will slide over and be hidden. Two is to prep it, to take a wire brush, and get rid of a lot of that carbon buildup inside the pipe. So that way you've got a good seal with that hard epoxy. And when you do your hole saw mod, if you leave as many burrs and as possible in there, around that old baffle, the better because it'll give it more to grip. 
so you should be able to see what I'm talking about. These little burrs here. This is where the old baffle was. And you're, you're getting kind of an echoey tin can sound because this is too big of a cavity in here. If you, if you don't like that sound, which is why we're going to be going with this pipe. It's going to sit low and you want to put it all the way back to where it'll butt up against in there. But you want to back it off a little bit more. So that's we're just resting on that pipe. And what you're going to do is you're going to pack that, that gauzy stuff all the way around this pipe here to make a good seal. Hacksaw blade was dull, so uh, definitely make sure you have got the right tools for the what you're trying to do. And here we have it. And it's got a little taper to it, so that'll be on the top side. Just to confirm the fit. This goes in, push all the way back, slide it out, maybe a quarter inch. Maybe half inch, something like that neighborhood. And totally conceal it. Just gonna braise it up because it's been sitting for a while since I haven't gotten to this project. side too to make sure that uh, it's not so easily seen that there's pipe in there because the stock pipe will be nice and carbon brown or black don't need to get crew crazy with it just the end so in the kit that you're going to get it's an exhaust uh, system repair kit, and basically what they say is cut bandage into 12 inch pieces for exhaust or tailpipe or two feet pieces for muffler. So we're dealing with a really small thing and we're trying to pack it in there. So it comes in these wide bandages, and you're going to cut it in, you know, approximately you know, 10 inches, 12 inch type things. But I cut them in half, that way you've got more flexibility in actually uh, stuffing them in there. So that's what you're going to do. So I'm going to finish cutting these up, and then when we get back to it, my tailpipe should be dry in terms of the paint, and uh, we can start going. Pipe is dried up. Is uh, you mix the polymer. So it's one part of this, two parts water. So I'm going to use this because I can easily dump stuff in here and shake it up. Since <clears throat> so I got it in the bottle here, shake it up. So I just mix two this water with it. So that's going to start reacting. That's where your gloves come in handy. little burrs in here, I'm going to if I take full advantage of that stuff. See the big pile of mummy babbit bandage I've got over here? So the polymer goes in the pan. And I'm going to leave a couple big, big bandages for the second, second wrap. So this goes in here like this, makes it nice and pliable. First one goes on, like so, nice and tight. 
and rub that stuff on. And then I'm going to take the big one. And I don't use many big ones. Maybe two to get started. There's that one. And the final big one. And we go on to the little guys. So that gives them something nice to grab onto. You gotta move kinda quick with this stuff, because it does set up. start from the bottom and work your way up. I mean, that's kind of a obvious thing, I would think, but you never know. But I'm working my way right around those burrs. And she's already starting to set up. And these last few strips, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them behind those retaining button nuts there, just to have it so it's got something more pressure to press up against. You can kind of mold them in. You know what I'm talking about when you see it. Alright, done there. I'm going to get a cloth to clean up. The pieces I got on the chrome. Right. And luckily, that just came right off the chrome. Here. So you've got two hours now to let this cure. So, in true biker fashion, go have a beer. Ooh. And you can see how it looks now inside. The pipe is in like solid, solid. That stuff was really quick. It's actually quicker than the last time, probably because it's so old. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but... So that all basically cemented in there. And, uh... Looks good. It's been about an hour and a half. It needs to cure for two hours before I really screw with it. I'm going to go ahead and add this on now. There's always one that gives you a hard time. So we are uh, about an hour and a half into it. And you can see that is why we painted the pipe black. Because uh, it hides it pretty well. And that is definitely the look you're going for here. And I know you guys are dying to hear what it sounds like. So uh, I'm going to turn this off for about 30 minutes and then I'll come back to it.
Sounds good.